Hi, welcome to Wiki Tiki and Cash and Product. I'm Venkat here. Like, I'm going to talk about the great topic that is a full stack Java web development. And I want to, before before going ahead, I want to like wish all the candidates who got placed via our company. So people like uh, all the very best for your future. And apart from that, if any of the companies are recruiters look into this particular video, I request you people to share your job description to us. We'll give the best candidates to you. And I want to wish the recent placed candidates, Mr. Vignesh, Mr. Ajit, Mr. Alex, and Vijit. So all the very best guys. Let's move on to technology. So your website, your website is created with the two major guys called your client and the server. The client is the person who is asking some data via the internet. The server is processing it and the entire data is stored in database. This is how the entire internet works and your website works works you got the client side and the server side on the other end so as i told you like you got the gmail something like that the client from here like the request is given to the server and the server will process the request and it will give it to the client and you are able to see your inbox and everything i gave my username and password so it is authenticated by the server and you got your inbox back that's how your technology works okay anyway like if you talk about the client side coding here is the one there are some specific technology we must learn to become a client side specialist so one is like html hypertext markup language so you are able to create the structure of your web page i want to give the coloring sir we got your cascade style sheet that is your css i want to give some action sir you need your javascript comes into the picture sir i created a website i want to make it as a mobile compatible website sir you need a technology called bootstrap and apart from that sir i want to create a website in a single page where your angular comes into the picture you got your angular technology this is how your client side coding works now if we talk about like let's talk about the structure of the website so that is your html the abbreviation is hypertext markup language we talk about the html this is how you will be writing the coding so you have to specify the doc type the document type is a html you got the html slash html head and a body the head will have the title and the body will have will have the elements and everything this is how the structure of html is created you are able to see it now so you are able to see the document type we need to specify that is html you got the html tag yeah HTML, yeah tags will have a closing and the like opening and a closing tag you are able to see a opening tag and a closing tag if we talk about the output this is the output i got so you are able to see it here welcome to kashiv infotag so that is one h1 tag this is your h2 tag you got a paragraph tag and a button so yeah html is created now this is how your html is created you can see this is your h1 heading one heading two and a paragraph tag and a button is given so this is how your html code is written yes i got the website now now i need to go for designing so you need to design it by coloring it right so i'm going to give a color for that you need to add this tag style slash style under that you got h2 tag so this h2 tag so for that particular h2 element i want to give you a color the color should be red let's move on yes i got the color red so this is how you are able to create a web page and give some coloring to it Look, let's move on to the action part sir i got the button on clicking the button i want to change something sir in the case we'll move on to a great technology called javascript so in the case you need to add a tag called a script tag so i got a button on clicking the button this is the function i want to write so i put a script and a slash script tag so this is called javascript technology where i got the function is ready now i'm going to write the piece of code document the entry document get the element by id kashiv futures so i want to change that content with this content that's really awesome man so this is how you are able to write the javascript code so you got the html and you can write a javascript code over there okay so over here on click i gave you a function name and i'm going to give write some code under the function name put the code in the script tag put the function function name and over here what i need to do is like i need to put the document or get element by id kashu futures Okay, so this is how, so this content, I need to change it into this particular content. So I'm going to change it now. So this is how you are able to, the inner is similar. I want to change it. Let's see the output. Yes. Okay. I got the button. Click me. Oh, it's changed. This is how your JavaScript works. Okay. Now I got the structure. I got the appearance and I got the like actions. Everything is perfect. Now what I'm going to do it. I want a cross device compatible to website, sir. The website should work well in mobiles, in tab, in laptops, in computers, everywhere. So in the case, I need a great technology called bootstrap for that. I need to include some of the libraries. So this is the library. First thing I'm, I'm checking out, like it should, the viewport should be good. 
and I want a bootstrap CSS file. I included. I want a bootstrap JavaScript file. These are the standard libraries you need to add it in your code. Once if you write the code, now I'm going to add some functionalities. The bootstrap is nothing but you have to put entire code into a container, a div class container, and this boot class can boot bootstrap framework will have all the classes you can use it. You can see button. The class type is btn btn iPhone primary. This is how you are able to give some classes. Already defined classes to give a design to it. Add the classes, the design is integrated. That's how your bootstrap works. As I told you, like um, here is the one. You need to add the libraries, a CSS library, a JavaScript library, and put entire code into a standard format of div container. Okay, div container, and into that you can uh, call all the classes automatically. The entire functionality will work under the bootstrap design framework. That's really awesome. You may ask me a question, sir. Like what kind of design? Lee? You are able to see this is the design. This is a normal HTML font. Now under the bootstrap, it's changed. The button and everything got changed. You may ask me a question. Like, so is it the standard way? Only one way of button we can create? No. So that's the one I'm going to show you now. Now I'm going to create a lot of different types of buttons. Button type equal to button. Class is equal to button, a yeah, basic button. Yes, in the left side, I can see the basic button, man. Now, btn default, the class is btn, btn default. Oh, this is a default button, that's really awesome. Okay, let's move on to the next button over here. You got the primary button. Okay, so next to a success button, a yeah, green color button, a yeah, btn iPhone info button. Okay, this is the information button, that's really warning button. Oh, that's really awesome, man. Oh, like the entire colors and everything. Just specify it is warning button. Automatically, you'll get everything. Danger button. Oh, it's a link button. You are able to see a link here. So this is how, like, you just include the class name, the entire, you don't want to specify any designs. You got the default designs, it is integrated. So that's how your bootstrap framework is. So bootstrap is nothing but an advanced CSS, advanced coloring concepts is integrated as a bootstrap framework. The entire website is awesome, man. But you need a lot of special functionalities. I want to store the data, sir. I want to do some processing in the server. Is it possible? Now we got the server side coding comes into the picture. The server side coding is PHP or JSP. You can use it. PHP is a hypertext preprocessor. So given by Apache Corporation and JSP Java server page, which is given by Oracle Corporation. So I got the server side coding comes into the picture. Now I'm going to show you how PHP works. PHP in the sense like the type equal to submit. Instead of type equal to button, I change the submit. I give value. I got name. Okay. So using this name, I, I'm doing something. So if you want to write a PHP code, what we can do is like you can have in the top of the HTML, so you can write your PHP code. He said, posting submit, clicking the submit button, do some process. Print a high. This is the code I've written. So PHP is the code which I can write it inside the HTML itself. You are able to see it here. We don't want any specific different course. Write it in a single page. That's how your HTML works. Okay, so over here, this is a PHP starting tag. That's awesome. This is the submit button. I'm going to use it. That's name. The name is submit. If E set, if the button is pressed post, automatically print high. Okay, this is how you are able to do a right piece of coding. You can see it here. On clicking this click me button, you are able to see high is coming there. Okay, this is how your PHP code works. Now, I hope you got an idea like how PHP works. So, the entry things is awesome, man. But you may ask me a question, sir, I want to execute this particular piece of code in multiple operating systems across platform compatibility. That's why the great technology comes, that's a Java. Java is a program which you can create it and you can execute in any kind of operating system. Java, compile it, convert to bytecode, it can execute in Windows or in Mac or Linux, any operating system it will work. That's how your Java framework works. So, like if you want to learn Java or any kind of technology, you can contact me at any time. So, our company, Cash we are providing internships and courses via online offline. You can contact us anytime. I'm ready to help you people. If you want to contact me, here's the details. So, the first option is like, send an email to me with the two email IDs. To this email, you can send an email with all the details and your mobile number. I'm ready to talk to you people. Apart from this, if you are looking for any courses, general inquiry, contact this number. Or if you want to like, uh, join the courses, contact these numbers. Any one of the numbers. Sir, I want to talk to you, sir. Sir, I'm my I'm located in Tamil Nadu, Chennai, in India. Okay, you can contact at any time. You can come down to my office to see me. I'm sitting in my office. Okay, or else you can talk to me via my Insta account. So, this is my Insta account and here's my photograph. Okay, so check this one, click this follow button, give all the details and mobile number, 
I'll talk to you. Okay, sir, I want to know what are the things I need to learn in Java, sir. This is the guidance I want to give it to you people. So Java, so go to this link. I'll put this link in the description and the first comments. Just scroll down, scroll down. You are able to see a lot of information about Java. Start learning it and build your profile. If you've got any doubts, you can contact me. Once I'm telling you, it's in the link in the first comment. Just click that link and learn as much as you can. You may ask me a question, sir. I want to learn technology, sir. In the case, there are some courses which you should not learn. The one course is like the DevOps. Java with Selenium, software testing, SQL on Python. In India, like these are the worst courses. Please avoid these courses in India. If someone is in, from foreign countries, you can prefer any kind of courses. This is for the people who need some guidance in India because DevOps is the course where 98% of the people are fake candidates in India. Java with Selenium, 98% are using fake experience letter to join. So this is one of the worst course. Please do not join. Software testing, 98% of the people are fake candidates join the IT industry. SQL, if you are stand, like if you study alone, you won't get job. Python, many people have studied, so competition is really huge. So avoid these courses to build your profile so if you want to build your profile here is the option the one is like learn web designing with the dark net or learn web designing with the java or react learn web designing with python or cyber security networking linux and the like a cloud computing this is another area mobile app development is awesome and these three courses i'll put in internet for free of cost don't join anywhere sql you can learn with oracle python machine learning data science is another thing so this is a ranking which i'm giving based on my experience okay now let's move on to the final part that is a jsp jsp is nothing but integrating the code inside the html stuff like this with the percentage kind of so if you want to give, like you initialize the data, you'll be using this not symbol. If you want to print it, you can use this equal to symbol. This is how your JSP works. I'll put a specific dedicated video on JSP in upcoming days. Okay, sir, I want to learn Java, sir. What I can do it, sir. So this is an, another option I can give it to you. This is my online tutorials, which I have written by my own. Okay, everything is automated. You can see it here. You can see I can give some set uh, I can click some link. You can see everything. I have done it practically. I'm showing it here. You can learn as much as you can. Okay, so learn as much as you can. On the other end, sir, so like, uh, so you may ask me like, whether the video is over. No, I got some other thing to be told you to uh, like, explain to you. That is your database. Sir, I got the data which I understood somewhere, right? That is why your database is comes to the picture where data is nothing but the collection of useful data. So here is the one. As I told you, so the server is ready. Uh, client side coding, server is ready. You got the database. So you got the Apache MySQL to store your data or Microsoft SQL server is another database. It can be preferred. So full stack Java. Full stack Java is nothing but full stack Java is nothing but yes sorry full stack Java is nothing but learning these technologies learning these technologies and learning these technologies and finally like let's talk about the file how this website works a client is asking a request via the internet to the server and it is going to the database so this is how the communication is there the database is MySQL and SQL server you got HTML CSS JavaScript bootstrap and JSP here over here like once the client is asking some request automatically the entire web page of HTML CSS JavaScript and bootstrap will come here and the request is processed via the server went here and it returned back and you are able to see the content here. This is how your website works. So I got my gmail.com. The entire web page is ready. Send a request with the username and password. Go to the server, validate it, and now your inbox is ready here. This is how your website works. Hope you enjoy this video and learn a lot of things about full, well, like a full stack Java development. If you got any doubts, post in the comments. I'm ready to help you. Thanks for watching. This is Venkat Sanya from Wikitiki and Kashi Infotech. Thank you.